few quick tips to help you get through the raid event and beat up Mr. Ingle, the building robot, and destroy the machine life form Elite. Now, you only need a few things. First thing you need to know is that he's got really high attack stat, so you've got to break it. Second thing you need to know is that once you get to the halfway point of the fight, he starts using an attack that has a really high chance to paralyze. So you can get around this easily by equipping one of your units with Lakshmi. Waking protection makes you Im immune to paralyze for three turns. So it's long enough for you to make a nice rotation and keep yourself from being paralyzed accidentally. Um, also, if you are really afraid of losing a healer for a round because you may not be dealing as much damage as how I was the first day, then bring a provoke tank so that way they're the ones that you lose for the round. Now, this still can compromise your team so you've gotta make sure to keep Ingle's attack stat broken so that way you can mitigate all the damage but that's really all there is to this fight. Um, it's all physical attacks, so counter units are really good. Um, the Mechanical Heart, which is 21-0's Trust Master, is very, very good because it has a really high chance to heal you in this fight because of how many times um, you're going to be attacked, especially once the attack stat is broken. Um, Minfilia is very good for this fight for that same reason because she can cure the whole party. Um, at either a 20% chance or a 33% chance if you've snagged her during both Final Fantasy XIV raid events. But uh, that is it. Um, this is my whole fight, which is going down right now. Um, only thing I do is first round, I buff with Zargabath. Now he happens to buff and make you immune to paralyze, so that just works out. Um, I also buff with Tilla to make myself immune to stat break because it makes the fight go much, much quicker. Uh, debuff attack. I'm a debuff spirit just because I can. And I steal 3,000 gil every fight via Zon's Waylay because I'm broke. And so, I need the money. Easy money. After that, it's just a matter of dealing damage. So, I just try to get the chains going as high as possible to deal damage. And just make sure that when the fourth turn comes around, in most cases, if I haven't dealt enough damage to where I feel like I can ride out two rounds straight of chain, then I'm going to debuff Ingle's attack again, so that way the party can live long enough to kill him off. Uh, if I've already dealt enough damage, then I won't worry about it. But that is it. Fight's pretty easy. You just got to make sure that you keep debuffs on Ingles and buffs on you so that way you can live long enough to kill him. So that's it. Let me know how you're doing in the fight um, in the comments down below. Uh, you know everything's working fine for me and I wish you the best. I think that everybody's going to do well. We're going to be able to get a lot of raid rewards from this and uh, I just hope that the ranking system holds up. If you like this be sure to throw me a like. Share this with your friends. Let them know that you're leveling up with Lee Van Dam. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe already because, you know, we've got a lot of Brave Espius content, a lot of content for Tekken 7 and other games on my channel as well. Uh, once again, I appreciate you coming by. Enjoy the rest of the fight because it's almost done. And uh, until next time, this is Lee Van Dam. Take care and God bless.